All the way in Israel's north, a new industry is booming. In recent years, Israel became a global leader in the alternative protein sectors with more than one-third of VC investments globally. In simple English, that means meat, dairy, and eggs that have never seen the inside of an animal. All clustered here at Fresh Star, a tech incubator on Israel's northmost border. I started out by trying out myself some of the existing, let's call it, replacement of meat, and also try to serve them to my kids and they don't like it. So I realized most people, the vast majority of people are not going to give up meat. Guy's company is working to make lab-grown meat affordable, a serious challenge, taking a complicated process and making it more efficient than traditional farming. The first thing you need to do is to grow a population of cells. So you basically start with stem cells, which are cells that could turn into anything. Right? They could turn into fat, they could turn into liver, or they could be turned into muscle. So the first thing is you grow a huge bioreactor, a big tank, full of stem cells. That's step number one. Um, step number two is then getting those cells that can be anything to turn into meat. So why bother? Well, the buzzword these days is sustainability, a word that has central planners worldwide telling their people to put down the sandwiches. Currently, we are utilizing 1.3 uh, uh, resources, energy resources from what Mother Health can provide us, so you cannot extend it more. India and China are rapidly industrializing, and international bodies say global agriculture cannot sustain a Western diet for another 3 billion people, which means there's a huge market for alternatives. But that means overcoming the industry's biggest challenges. The labs in Israel's periphery are solving that, one innovation at a time. If you could extend the shelf life of food by just one more day, you would save 250,000 tons of food every day in the UK alone. I'm not talking about Europe worldwide. Mind-boggling numbers. Fabian creates biological food preservatives. The logic is you can feed more people if you don't throw out most of the goods. We integrated our proteins into hummus and we were able to extend that hummus for a few days to four weeks at room temperature. This race to create new foods is birthing an investment sector that many hope will keep Israel ahead of global trends. High tech is mainly in areas like software and computers. And the problem there is the continuous shortage of talent. So if you want more people to work in high tech, which is important both economically and socially, we need to develop new types of sectors. And whether that involves growing meat in a tube, synthesizing protein to make fake burgers seem real, or making foods that just don't spoil, each is tackling that thorny issue, feeding a population growing faster than production.